Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a file upload function to your contact form 7 form. It's pretty straightforward, but there is one little trick that you have to do just right, otherwise it's not going to work how you expect. So we're in the dashboard here. I'm just going to load up a really basic form. In fact, the only form I have, it's just the one that that is created when you install the plugin. And this is it right here. And what I'm going to do is at the very bottom, before the send button, add an upload button. And we do that by clicking this file button right here. Then we have our options. We're not going to make the field required because they can upload if they want to, don't have to. And we have to put in a file size limit because that's smart to do. And we want to have the acceptable files, which is also smart because this uh, message will come to your email with an attachment. If you don't uh, limit the files they can upload, they could potentially upload JavaScript or a virus that you have now in your email account. If you open it, then you've got a virus in your system, which is not cool. So you want to limit the file sizes or the file types. I mean, usually um, quite often we have JPEGs and you separate it by a pipe character and PNG or a GIF. If you want them to upload images, you might have uh, a doc file or a PDF or CSV. You get the idea. So whatever is after the period for the file type is what you want for your acceptable file types separated by a pipe character. And that's what you put in there. And for the limit, you'll notice here we have to add the limit in bytes, which is tricky because nobody really talks in bytes. We talk in megabytes these days or even gigabytes. But how many how many bytes are in a gigabyte? Well, I don't actually know off the top of my head, but Google does. So what we do is we go to Google and we type in byte converter. And here's a converter that goes from bytes to kilobytes, but I want one that goes to megabytes. So here's one and it goes in any direction you want. So let's say you want to limit your file size to one gigabyte. Then you put a one in here, click this button, and then it tells you what, how many, um, how many of each of the other file sizes are in one gigabyte. Now you probably want to limit it to limit to megabytes unless you're doing some kind of movie file sharing website. So maybe 10 megabytes seems like a pretty legitimate amount. And that is this many bytes. So we want to copy this number of bytes into this form field. And this is 10 megabytes. So that the upload limit is going to be 10 megabytes, which is that many bytes. That's the tricky part that if you don't do right, it might not work as you expect. So I'm just going to complete this, uh, this form here, make a PNG and GIF, click on insert tag. Now here's our file upload tag. We save this and I'm going to open, going to open this form and see how it looks with that new shiny fancy upload button. So we have the upload button right here. Click on choose file and then you can go through or sorry, the, the visitor to your site can go through and upload a file. Now, what we've done is we've limited it to just image files. So I would add a label to this, uh, this field and just say, uh, please upload your JPEG, PNG, or GIF using the uploader below. And that way there's an indication to people what they're allowed to upload and what they're not allowed to. And then that just uh, increases or greatly improves the user experience of this form. And at the end of the day, if you have happy users, they're going to do good things for you and hopefully buy your products. And there we go. We have our custom little message there and the upload button. And that's how we add an uploader to our contact form seven forms. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearnerlab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.